Hello and welcome. In this presentation, we will be looking at drawing lines using what's commonly referred to as the intercept method. As a little bit of revision, let's look to see how we originally drew lines. It's via what's commonly referred to as the point and gradient method. For instance, if you were to draw the line y equals 3x minus 2, you would identify the starting point from the y-intercept, which is this one here, and you would convert the gradient to a fraction, which is this one here. You would then locate the starting point on the Cartesian plane, then you would look for a second point that the line would go through. In this situation, we would have to go up three and across, across one. So we would go up three, across one, and we would have a second point that our line would go through. Then once we have two points, we can draw a line that passes right through those two points. Job done. Now, let's look at a new method. Now, where a line goes through the y-axis, it's commonly referred to as the y-intercept. Where a line goes through the x-axis, it's known as the x-intercept. Now, what we know about the y-intercept is the value of x is 0. So you've followed that down there. The value of x is 0. And what we know about the x-intercept, the value of x is 3, but our value of y is 0. And to use the gradient method, we use those two key pieces of information we substitute the fact that for the y-intercept, x equals 0. Let me say that again. For the y-intercept, the value of x equals 0. Or for the x-intercept, the value of y equals 0. We substitute that information into our equation. So let's have a look at a couple of examples. Oh, I've already said that. The y-intercept is when x equals 0, substitute x equals 0 into the equation and solve for y. The x-intercept is when y equals 0, substitute y equals 0 into the equation and solve for x. Well, I don't think I need to say any more there. So, this is the approach that I like to do. I will write the equation twice. And effectively, I'm looking for both the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Once I have those, I can draw my line. So, here is my equation. This situation, on the left, I will substitute x equals 0 into my equation. So, just following through the maths, I will substitute. So, instead of having an x there, I'll replace that x with a 0. So, instead of being 3 times x, I will have 3 times 0. I've just put the brackets around here to highlight the fact that the substitution is going on. And just remember, whenever I have a number or a coefficient in front of brackets, that implies a multiplication is happening. So 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 2 is my minus 2, or if you prefer, negative 2. So I can say that my first coordinate is 0, x is 0, y equals negative 2. Let's go and look at the next one. Well, this time I will substitute y equals 0 into this equation. Therefore, the 0 will appear where the y is. 0 equals 3x minus 2. I will use a little bit of algebra to solve this. So 3x 
equals 2. In other words, I've just added 2 to this side and added 2 to this side. And then I will have to divide both sides by 3 just so I have a single x. So divide by 3 will give me x. Divide by 3 will give me 2 thirds. So my other equation, my other coordinate I should say, is 2 thirds 0. I can use those two coordinates and plot them on the Cartesian plane. So coordinate 1, 0, negative 2. There we go. That is my y-intercept. And it is here. 2 thirds, 0. I'll go and find 2 thirds, 0. It would be my x-intercept. 2 thirds. And I just need to draw the line. It has to go through those two points. Job done. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This equation may be a little bit trickier, but you use exactly the same process. Divide my, my page into two. Left hand side, substitute x equals zero into the equation. So you'll see here, I take that zero and put it there. So I end up with 2y minus 3y equals 6. This becomes 0, so 2y equals 6. And divide both sides by 2 gives me y equals 3. There you go. First, equate, first intercept point, 0, 3. Left hand side, I've substituted x equal to 0. Right hand side, substitute y equals 0. 2 times 0. I've taken that 0, put that in there. Minus 3x equals 6. That will simplify to be negative 3x equals 6. Divide both sides by negative 3. Gives me x equals negative 2. Second coordinate. I can then use the coordinate 0, 3, negative 2, 0. Identify both of those on the Cartesian plane. Draw a line straight through those. There you go, and, and that's done. Let's look at the next one. Slightly more complicated again. This time the equation of my line. 15 minus 5y minus 3x equals 0. Substitute x equals 0 on the left. So I will take the 0, put it in where the x is. That will basically become 0. So I end up with 15 minus 5y equals 0. Try and solve for y. Next thing that I'll do, I'll add 15. Sorry, I'll subtract 15 from both sides. Subtracting 15 from there, subtracting 15 from there will give me negative 5y equals negative 15. Then what I need to do, divide both sides by 5. Or should I say negative 5. Give me the value y equals 3. So there is one value, one coordinate, 0, 3. Now, let's substitute y equals 0 into this equation. Same sort of deal. 0 goes into where the y is. We end up with 15 minus 3x. I want to actually get rid of this 15 because I'm just trying to get x all by itself. So the inverse of adding 15 is subtracting 15. That will cancel out. We'll end up with negative 3x equals negative 15. Or if you prefer, x equals 5 because we have divided both sides by negative 3. So negative 15 divided by negative 3 is 5. That is my second coordinate. So draw a line from between 0, 3 and 5, 0. And you have actually answer the question. So that's it. So just 
in summary, go back to the the y-intercept is when x equals zero. This y-intercept is where x equals zero. So what we do from our equation, we substitute x equals zero into that equation and solve for y. Likewise, the x-intercept is when y equals zero. We substitute y equals zero into our equation and solve for x just as what we have done here. So, so I hope that this presentation has assisted with your understanding of being able to draw a straight line using the coordinate method. So until next time, good maths. Bye for now.